currently we're at 40 degrees in this car right now which is a problem uh you can might be able to see the absolute sweat just dripping down my face but we're going to do this test we're basically going to turn on the air conditioning also the battery will probably be being cooled by the car because it's too hot and we're going to basically see how much power that draws and we're going to see for instance if you were stuck in a traffic jam and you literally weren't moving uh, how much power would the car use? Would it drain down very much? And um, the idea is to do an hour and see how much, uh, how many miles the gasometer loses and how much battery percentage we lose. It's not going to be a particularly scientific test, but then the hope would be to do this exact same test in winter and uh, use the heating instead. So that is the start of this video. Let's get in to this before I pass out. We've started at a solid, and you can see that 40 degrees, absolute craziness in the car. And if I cycle through this, you should see on this screen how much the car is currently drawing. So currently it's drawing one amp. And that's probably to do with the fact that the phone is plugged in and we've got this Chromebook plugged in. I don't know if that's really going to be drawing much. But the main thing we want to be doing before I pass out at 41 uh, degrees is turning on the air conditioning. So we're going to whack it right the way up. You might not be able to hear me so well, but then you'll see, just turn it down for a second, you see it jumps up to eight amps. So. The plan is basically, I'll turn it back up, I will entertain myself in the car, it's 4.17, we'll get to 5.17 and we'll see, has it changed much? We're at 145 miles now, 61% for the start of this, and one hour later you'll see whether, hopefully the temperature will have come down, hopefully I won't have passed out, and we'll see how much the battery has gone down for one hour, so let's go. Rosie very kindly brought me a drink which was needed because I thought I might die, she got me a snack as well, that's not quite what I was after, a single cocktail sausage. But there we go. Halfway through. It's not taking that much so far. Uh, I've turned the aircon right down there, so it's now just down to the one amp. But if I turn it right back up, you won't be able to hear me. But it's actually reduced. It's not actually drawing as much power as it was at the start. And I guess, again, that is to do with the cooling system for the, the battery. And uh, we'll keep going for the next half hour and see what the total gets to. I was quite bored at this point, so I requested some entertainment. Rubik's Cube, not so much. The VR, not so practical kind of flinging your arms around inside of a car. But there we go, we got through the hour. An hour down, we lost about 10 miles of range on the gasometer and maybe 4%-ish, roughly. Uh, obviously not exact. It got cold, eventually really cold. The last half of that was not pleasant and the first half wasn't pleasant either. So the, yeah, I was too hot and then too cold. And now as soon as I've turned it all off, it's getting hot again. But it was interesting. That basically shows how much the air conditioning is using. It's not much, and obviously, you in this sort of weather, you just have to have it on. And I think the lesson from this is really that it doesn't take up too much power, too much battery, to have the aircon and have a couple of things plugged into the USB ports. But the interesting thing will be doing the opposite test in the winter, find a really cold day rather than the hottest day uh, ever in the UK. We'll find a hopefully sub-zero day, and we'll do a heating test to see how that compares because. In theory, and from what I've seen, the heating uses up a lot more energy. So rather than losing 10 miles an hour, it will be interesting to see how that does. So subscribe to the channel if that sort of thing, and this sort of testing of cheap EVs and MG5s is interesting to you. But that's enough for this one. I'll see you soon. Bye.